Investigators going undercover. <laughs> aggressive measures for an aggressive industry. So that this problem is exposed. The target? Pet stores in Maryland, where dogs from puppy mills oftentimes end up, including Salisbury. It's a miserable life for a dog. There is so much cruelty behind the cuteness of the puppy in the pet store. John Good is the senior director of the Puppy Mills campaign. Dogs are raised in inhumane and filthy conditions. At the Humane Society of the United States. We've even seen at Puppy Mills dead dogs in cages who had mummified because they'd been sitting there so long. That's how filthy these places can get. His 2013 investigation shows nine out of 12 Maryland pet stores had violated puppy mill laws. And at the top of the list, this store in Salisbury, flagged back in 2013 for not disclosing where their puppies come from. I stopped in today to see if much had changed. It appears this time the store is following the rules. Not the same case for the Murphys, who were at the center of a recent puppy raid in Eden. The gentleman grabbed him by his collar and just drug him. Tucked away within a wooded remote neighborhood, of a town with a population of just 793 people. Neighbors say it's a dark secret of senseless dog breeding. I have spoken to someone who bought a dog from them um, since this all has come out. And they said that when they bought a dog from them, they wouldn't let him come to the house. They met him at McDonald's and the dog was very matted. Angela Caputo says she reported her neighbors to animal control back in October, not once, but four times. Other complaints allegedly stretch back six years. I reached out to animal control, a department of only two employees, one who is constantly on call. And I am told the response times to complaints are immediately. This was just a massive amount of barking and you could tell it was, you know, a big, big, large group of dogs. And when this dog farm masquerade as a chicken farm is opened up, <laughs> investigators find inside the largest case of illegal dog breeding in Wicomico County. It breaks my heart to know that someone is so greedy that they would treat a living creature that way. As for this caring woman who gives her all to rescue sheltered dogs, Sit down, sit, good girl. Has helped to rescue more than 300 dogs from deplorable conditions. <laughs> Denise Sawyer, WRDE Delmarva Zone, NBC Station. Neighbors tell me they believe this so-called prostitution ring happened over a three month span at all hours of the day, right underneath their noses. It bothered us. It bothered everyone here. Beyond this door, neighbors say was a disgusting business in disguise. Oh, I thought it was prostitution. We'd watch. We would just sit and watch them go up and buzz a buzzer and... Speculation of an alleged brothel in this quiet neighborhood. Everybody was upset about, but nobody wanted to do anything. This comes after three women and five men were charged in a prostitution sting at two massage parlors in the area. Babies! Neighbors say that filthy crime hits close to home. I don't see how they could have done that and gotten away with it. I don't know how that business could have gotten set up. And, and whoever leased it to them didn't realize what was going on. But the landlord who also owns this shop says nothing was going on and so did this guy who lives next door. Until they're caught in the act, uh, who, who can say? Anything could have been going on in there, but like I say they're very quiet and very nice. This popular website for illegal sex at massage parlors shows otherwise. The same house seen in this neighborhood is topping a list of erotic spas in the area. One user raves about an employee named Jojo. Another user tells folks to be careful because it's just a matter of time before neighbors complain. Uh, to me, it's just ballsy. I, I, I don't understand in a residential neighborhood, why, why would they think to do that? But they got away with it for a while. The massage parlor was recently shut down. The fire marshal's office tells WRDE Sun Spa was illegally operating a business out of a single family home. Tonight, a warning sign greets you, letting folks know the so-called brothel is now closed. A sigh of relief as that business is out of business.